we're now currently assembling uh, our flagship avionics board, uh, MS Kalpa. Uh, so we've designed it, the PCB has arrived and sold the components. So right now we've set up a little um, soldering uh, station, uh, assembly station. Uh, so firstly we're partitioning all our components into you know the relevant parts on the PCB, like the book, the power stuff, the communication stuff, and the digital stuff. And now um, Ed and Sam are busy uh, putting on the little fiddly SMB components. What have we got going on over here, Marwan? So this is a, a top-notch inventory system. So as you can see, we've, we've, uh, we've, de we've you know, split up the table into parts. So all the bug stuff goes here, so we can like quickly take them out and pass them. Uh, all the home stuff is over here, so that's the GPS and the, the radio. Uh, these are all the sensors. This is the most expensive part of the table. Big thank you to Pai Moroni for providing some of the core components for the MRAS project. All of the core components have been really useful to us and it's great to see Pimroni sponsor the university team like Sunhide. Pimroni, if you don't know who they are, are based in Sheffield and they provide hobbyist electronic components. We're going to be full of I'm threading 3D printed plastic. No, not really. But there's like threaded inserts. If you want to go a bit Where's deeper, the so that the bolt the can continue past the threaded insert into 3D printed plastic. So tap the 3D printed really print plastic. If not, I'll need your hand and yes, <laughs> so we've just placed all the SMD components onto our MRAS board and now we're reflowing the solder so that they stick nice and uh, firmly onto the board. Um, that way they don't come loose during flight. That would be bad with it now. You think so, yes. Some issues along the way, but we think we've got them fixed now, so 